What's this video about today, Scott? Food. No. No, we talk about. Our van expenses. Yeah, but we talk about food. And there's some food. <laughs> What is up, everybody? I'm Danny. I'm Scotty. And welcome to another video. So, if you're new here, then you should know that we both live out of a camper van full time. We started living out of this self converted van in April of 2019. And as of right now, coming all the way from Arizona, we are in North Carolina. So today's video is going to be breaking you guys down what expenses look like when you're living out of a van. So I want to preface this video by saying that when you live out of a van, one of the first things that you end up noticing is you're going to have a lot of variable costs. I'm hoping that when we start getting into like what we spend a month, maybe some of those variable costs and some of those fixed expenses will make more sense to you as to what they are. Scott, do you want to kind of tell everybody the back work that you did to get all these expenses written down for the video? Yeah, I just uh, took everything on my credit card statement and organized it by category and took the averages over certain months that we knew we spent the most and the least. Um, whether that was if we were driving all the way up the coast of California and mm -hmm. we're using a lot of gas or if we were in Washington hanging out for three months and we were stopping at coffee shops a lot, going to the grocery stores a lot, eating out with friends. And I just took all those averages and put them together. Yeah, so pretty easy. Um, and I do have a lot of the month by month numbers <laughs> written down. So if there are any sort of like outliers, I'll try to highlight those. But like Scott said, these are all averages of months that we were driving a ton versus months where we were super, super stationary. So <laughs> with that being said, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, the first couple of categories we're gonna talk about in this video are some more of those variable expenses um, and they're food related. So eating out and groceries and coffee shops. Okay, so let's start with groceries. If you guys follow us along on social media channels have been with us for a while, then you know that we love cooking. I mean, Scott's even doing it right now. Um, and that means that we buy a ton ton of groceries and sometimes we're feeling fancy so we buy more sometimes we're feeling not so fancy and we just buy super basic stuff which means we were either shopping at whole foods or shopping at walmart yeah we're either bougie or we cheap <laughs> all right uh let's see here so for the months of june july august september october the average we spent was $297.40. Which honestly, I'm actually pretty surprised about considering uh, when we were living in an apartment, I feel like we spent so much more on I think food. It was like double that. Yeah, it was ridiculous. The biggest month that we actually spent on food was August. We ended up spending about $503, give or take. And August was a pretty stationary month for us. So honestly, I think that we ended up spending so much because we wanted to experiment with more recipes since we had and so much downtime. It wasn't just that, we were doing a lot of backpacking in Washington. That too, So yeah. we would buy a lot of food and either bring it with us like bars and we we're eating baby food for a little bit. <laughs> and or we would make food before we went so we were actually buying a lot more because then we we're hiking a lot and burning more calories yeah and... all right so next category dealing with food is eating out and for the months of july august september and october we spent about <gasps> a hundred and thirteen dollars which again i'm actually so surprised about because when we were in an apartment we spent so much more time eating out the most expensive month that we had eating out was actually in october no sorry july we spent 174 dollars eating out we we love going to different places and especially finding some awesome local vegan spots and i think that's where a lot of our eating out money goes for sure because we love food and when we're not cooking we want to have a good meal and plus we eat a lot of chipotle on the road yeah i don't feel like cooking and we're chipotle yeah. rewards members though so we get we get free burritos occasionally <laughs> and the 
Last category here is coffee, which I think is more of like a Danny personal expense because Scott's a big tea lover and brews his own and such. And for coffee, we averaged about $45 a month. Um, so that includes like going to Starbucks's and going to again like local coffee shops and having myself a latte or even like a little vegan treat if there are options. Also, I wanna say that we don't just go to a coffee place and like buy something and, and then leave. We pretty much make like a whole day out of it uh, and sit there and work, take advantage of the Wi-Fi and such. So it, it ends up being like a, a business expense, honestly. Okay, now I'm going to get into the expenses that are more tailored to just our everyday living. So think like laundries and showers. Laundry, on average, we ended up spending 14 to $20. If you didn't watch our Q&A video, you definitely should because it goes into how exactly we do laundry, but we probably do it maybe like twice a month we do everything like our sheets and all of our clothes and that's why it varies from 14 to 20 because it just depends on the prices of the places that we go showers slash gym memberships again if you haven't watched our q a video you should because we also go into how and where we take showers and so our average for showers ended up being any guesses I don't remember the number. $25. The majority of that actually goes into our Planet Fitness membership, which is amazing. And if you don't have one, you live on the road, you definitely should. Um, it costs $20 per month. And with that $20 per month, you get to bring a guest. So Scott always brings me as his guest and we get a workout in and our shower. So it's really a double whammy. And then the extra little seven five dollars there goes into if we go to like a campsite we have to pay a day use fee for showers which honestly if campsites are your primary way to take showers you're going to be paying a lot so the next expense on here is going to be a fixed cost and probably one of the more expensive bills that we honestly have living in a van and can you guess what that expense is that's a good guess no no, Wait, gas isn't fixed, buddy. Oh, I didn't hear that part. <laughs> it's our phone bill. If you don't know this already, I'll give you a little spiel here, but Scott and I work full time on the road. We're freelance photographers and I'm a blogger as well. So a good phone plan and Wi-Fi is actually very, very important to us because we need those things to be able to do our job and to make money. A phone plan for month costs us about three hundred and seventeen dollars and i'll kind of break that down for you a little bit we have a verizon hotspot and that costs us about sixty dollars per month and it is completely unlimited and that's what we put our computers on so that we have wi-fi we are part of the apple upgrade program that costs us fifty dollars per month and that's each each of us has to pay about 74 dollars for those phones to have an unlimited plan with verizon wireless so this is a pretty expensive phone bill but again for us we splurge on that because we actually really need it i'm sure that you could definitely save a ton of money going with a cheaper provider and such this is actually the most expensive cost we have by far and it is scott what did you say earlier yeah gas <laughs> gas costs are so variable going from state to state where we actually really save on money with gas is we are stationary sometimes so we're not always filling up but months like october and in the summer where we're just driving around like chasing fall colors going on a bunch of hikes everywhere we end up spending a lot on gas but it's not always the case for the months of june july august and september our average gas cost was five hundred and twenty two dollars in the month of september our gas bill was a whopping seven hundred and thirty dollars and you might be freaking out but we weren't stationary at 
all in September. September. We did 2,200 miles. Yeah, and I'm looking, I'm trying to look at in a map days. for reference right now. We drove from Washington to Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, South Dakota, Ohio, and all the way to New England just to be in New England on October 1st for fall colors. Obviously, because we just like shot all the way across the country it was like the equivalent of playing of paying a plane ticket honestly for one person in the summer we ended up staying in washington and oregon for a very long time and we really didn't move too much july and june were our cheapest months sitting at 300 to 400 dollars on gas we didn't have so many places on our list we would probably spend a lot less on gas yeah i mean the other thing to keep in mind too is that you and i set off on this van trip to quite literally Literally travel the entire United States in a year and I don't think that's the intention of a lot of people who live in a van they just want to like live on the road it looks like the last expense here is van maintenance and <laughs> How much do we spend on van maintenance on average? Zero bucks. Zero dollars, woo! The only thing that we ever have to really pay for is about an oil change every six months and that would end up costing us about $70. Other than that, if your vehicle is good and you're taking care of it, you don't need to pay monthly van expenses. As long as you don't own a Sprinter, so. <laughs> I added all of those averages together and per month we spent about $1,300 living in a van. When I actually saw these numbers, I was super shocked because when we were living in an apartment and paying for rent and then we would eat out more or we would just like buy a ton of groceries because we could store everything at home and our rent alone, bills and utilities. Our rent alone was $1,300. Yeah, we were spending a lot of money, so it's kind of cool to see that we're saving a lot more now. That is our monthly van budget expenses video. <laughs> we hope that you guys enjoyed this. This was probably one of our most requested videos by far. Would you? Do you have any lasting words to say before we sign off? It's not that bad. It's really cheap on the road. You gotta cook yourself a meal and don't buy like a 20 year old van because it looks cool. Like buy something that actually will work and shop around like we took six months to buy this and like i said we haven't spent a dime on the maintenance we also camp for free yeah we've never we've never paid for a camp spot yeah i really hope that this video helps some of you kind of get a perspective on what monthly van expenses look like and what they may look like for you so <laughs> with that being said make sure that you give this video a like or a thumbs up so that we know that you like it and we'll keep making more and if you haven't already make sure you follow us on our social media channels and subscribe to our youtube channels where we're also posting a ton of videos and i guess with that being said we'll see you all on the next one <laughs> bye peace out homie